Okay, so to get the front caliper off, what we're going to do first of all is these are 40 mil bolts. Get those undone. Yeah, so those will come off. We'll get this front caliper off. So we've taken the two 14 mil bolts out. So now the caliper will slide out, being very careful not to twist. Um, this hose here now for me it doesn't matter so much because I'm replacing these but if you're doing some maintenance on your bike just watch out for that and there we have it there you can see the front brake pads and you can see the grooves in the brake pads which give you an indication of how far worn they are so these pads are still pretty awesome um, what we're going to do is take these off completely because look at the state of all this give it a total overhaul get these out completely to get these brake pads out, there is a small retaining pin just in there. So we're going to take that one out with a pair of long nose pliers. Um, and then this whole pin here um, will come out. What that will mean is that the whole plate will spin on this. So taking that pin out from there means now this other pin will just slide on out which is fantastic and then this will just come on off and there we have it there's one of the front brake pads off the other one then and there's both brake pads ready I would suggest for some love and some cleaning so putting a bar across and then pumping the front brake you can see the pistons are starting to come out. They're not coming out equally. The one on the right hand side here is coming out a little bit quicker and the bar just stops them shooting all the way through. But pumping the brake while it's still got the fluid in means that we can get these pistons out nice and easily. Pumping the brakes and the pistons are coming out. Check out the dust seals are coming out with it as well. So clearly this caliper is well in need of a, a really good overhaul. The top tip moving forward would definitely be to crack this banjo bolt before um, taking it off the uh, mounting bolts here and here but now that's been done this banjo bolt will simply undo if you look inside look at the gunk that the brake fluid has turned into yeah absolutely a sign that these needed to be sorted so these are going to look good as new we'll take that off and that will release it from the brake hose and then what we've got here just keep all the caliper parts together. I've actually labelled the bag and the pistons as well. So it's really important not to get the left and right piston um, mixed up. Um, and as you can see, look at that. You know, that's going to come up beautifully. Both calipers are in their independent bags, so they're all separated. Just a list of kits. I've got some gunk, some engine degreaser, some brake and clutch cleaner. Uh, that's the new caliper seal kit, including the um, rubber boot and the seals that go inside it. Pick to get the rubber seals from the inside of the where the piston sit. 8 mil spanner and some needle no nose pliers so I can get that, that split pin out and release the pin that will release the brake pads. Um, some other kit and tools just to help me get the uh, calipers nice and clean. Here then we've got the right caliper. Um, you can see all the gunge and gunk which is inside it so that's really not looking in a very good space at all and underside here is the uh, brake holders as well we've got the pistons again hell of a state for those so we'll get those cleaned up nicely we've got the brake pads and um, they're actually looking pretty good the there's um, no indentations across here there's not a lot of grit inside these score lines either um, so these brake pads are good to keep we can see here um, there's still a lot of brake pad left on them so we don't need to swap those over and then this is the retaining pin that holds these brake pads in place. What I'm going to do first of all this part here you can actually pull you can see the rubber stretching so when the brake is um, when the piston is moving these move with it and if you keep pulling oh, there all of that comes off now, whoever installed these the first time has put loads of copper grease on there, so that's fantastic. They came out nice and easily. And then these rubber parts just come off. Now, I've got new ones of these to go on. And the same with this one, except this one fits in through here. So to get this one off, push that end in. 
and then it pulls through. And again, I've got a new one of those to fit as well. What I'm now going to do is give this a really good rinse in um, water to start with to rinse off the uh, brake fluid and then I'm going to coat it in um, gunk which is like an engine degrease and just to try and get all of this grime and grease off. Here's where the brake line actually connects into via this banjo bolt. Now I have been asked online through the YouTube channel whether or not it is a requirement when you change the um, brake uh, lines um, whether it's, it's really necessary to change the calipers. Now looking at the gunge which is inside this banjo bolt, my answer would be that absolutely I would say it's an important maintenance task. Imagine what your brake fluid is doing if it's having to negotiate this gunge halfway through it, it's not going to be as effective as it could be. Let's face it, these are your brakes, um, a, a really really critical part of your uh, biking experience without a doubt, so for me this is a, a pretty essential maintenance in my opinion. The caliper's been washed out with water, so it hasn't completely uh, cleaned everything through, but it has taken all the brake, uh, brake fluid gunk out of it. This uh, bleed nipple on my worm was absolutely uh, jammed in solid. What I ended up doing is putting the whole caliper into a uh, grip, into a, into a vice grip, which then enabled me to have the leverage to then turn this with an 8mm spanner. And now, there we go. Take a look at the crud that's built up across that. Again, this can't be doing my braking system any good at all. So again, there's a new one of these to be installed. Very handy little tool, one of these picks. So I'm just gonna use it to take out very carefully the rubber seals. There we go. So again, new ones of those. Right, doing it very carefully so not to bend it because that's what your brake pads sit on. So again, that all can get good clean. So now the caliper is totally disassembled. I'm going to put it and I'm going to liberally spray it with the uh, brake and clutch cleaner because that's going to help get rid of a lot of the, the crud that's ingrained into this. This stuff corrodes rubber, corrodes plastic, so don't get it on anything that's not uh, really critical. And if you are keeping hold of some of these other parts, um, some of these rubber parts, keep them a, a long way away from where you're spraying this stuff. The gunk is just falling off these pads now, so we'll give that a really good clean. Even after a very short time, you can see how quickly these calipers are, are coming back onto form again. Here is where we took the corroded bleed nipple screw out of, and again, all in the threads here was quite uh, quite a lot of crud, quite a lot of corrosion. Again, just a standard pick, and then. If you turn it round, you can see and check that there's free movement and nothing clogging the holes to the first piston. The other thing I discovered as well, there was quite a lot of gunk in the bottom of this one here, which is where one of these pins slide into. So, cotton bud. Ew. So we'll get all that gunk out as well. I'm really pleased with the way this is coming on. Um, the caliper surfaces here are nice and clean now, uh, and I cleaned all in here. Top, top tip is these cotton buds actually fit into the grooves here to clean through this. So what I did to begin with is very carefully so I didn't scratch a surface, went around um, the inside edges removing any crud um, that way. And then with a the cotton bud soaked in a uh, brake, clean, brake cleaner, I um, just worked my way around the inside there. Um, they're not perfect, um, but they're a damn sight better than they were the first time. So that's the main body of the caliper now. Cleaned, ready to do the other parts and then reassemble it back together again. The 
pad spring here at the bottom, that's all being cleaned and reassembled. Time to start putting a few things back together again. So here we've got a new uh, Blake brake bleed nipple and it's got a different type of cap which actually attaches to the bottom which I quite like because it just means that there's less chance as you're doing your routine maintenance to lose it. Get that one screwed into there and we'll tighten that up again with the 8mm spanner. New uh, rubbers to go onto this part here. And then just as before in reverse, this part here pushes right the way through. This part here has already been cleaned, ready to be installed. So top tip, absolutely loads of copper grease on these parts here because, let's get this the right way around. And then that part of the rubber once I've put the copper grease on and I've, I've finished cleaning and I'm ready to reassemble, I'll fit over the top of that. There are two seals which sit inside these grooves here. The first one is a dust seal and that's much thinner, much smaller, and that just fits into place there. The other thicker one is a fluid seal. Now, um, they are supposed to be slightly tapered. I've used the vernier calipers on these ones and I can't see any tapering whatsoever. Um, so I'm going to fit mine, I'm going to leave them up with a little bit of brake fluid um, and fit those seals in nice and simply. Okay, now for the thicker fluid seal. Excellent, and they're both in there. So we'll do that on both sides. Right, so now it's time to move on to the uh, pistons. So to clean these, again, we're gonna use just a little bit of brake fluid. I've got a, a non-fibrous um, cloth here, and all I'm gonna do is put a little bit of brake fluid on and literally just rub it up and down, so. There's the brake fluid, and there's the piston. By simply rubbing it up and down, we just remove all that crud from the side. And again, it doesn't damage the piston in any way. And we just slowly work our way right the way around the piston. Two cleaned pistons. So we're gonna use some uh, brake fluid again, uh, just to lube up the pistons. And then using my thumbs, I'm just gonna push them into place. There's the two pistons in nicely. And these brothers just fit over that little lip. And the same on this side, just to hold those in place. Brake pads, so. Then picked all very, very carefully. 
cleaning out all the grooves. Brake pads cleaned, time to put it all back together again. Look at that, I put my thumb through both sides, never mind. Okay, so there we have it. One set of completely polished, cleaned, refurbished brake pads ready to go back onto the bike. Well, after do the other side, that is. <laughs>